The Pellucid dye is an excellent alternative for coloring both exterior or interior concrete. It comes in the concentrated form like you see here in this can. There's a wide variety of colors that you can uh, look at on the Duraman website for color selections. And this container mixes into one gallon of acetone. So it is a solvent-based product. It is UV stable. You can use this in a wide variety of applications. It's always going to be spray applied. And then uh, once you get the material down, you're going to want to seal it in to lock that in. So this has some opacity to it. So for example, if you had an exterior um, patio or a pool deck and you wanted to change the color, this would be a great candidate. Oftentimes artisans use it as well for accenting their stains. So I've seen scenarios where guys will uh, put an acid stain down, for example, clean and neutralize that, but they want some shading or some different values of color. And this is a great product for that as well. So we'll be using this uh, on polymer cements. And if you wanted to change the color of an interior floor, say a self-leveling overlay, for example, perhaps you had some smoother lines or some color variation, this would be an excellent alternative to uh, unify that color. We're getting ready to apply our pellucid dye. Uh, we mixed terracotta to approximately a gallon and a half of acetone. That's going to give you more of an opaque color. If you want some vari variation or transparency, go ahead and thin it more with acetone, say two or three gallons of acetone to the one concentrated color. So we're using a solvent resistant sprayer, as you can see here, that's specifically for acetone. Right there it says acetone. And it's a non-drip, but still, I, you can see I always have the tip in something like a container or a rag in this case. So we're just going to go ahead and lightly mist over the surface. You don't want to puddle this on. You want to fog it on. The, the goal is to not have it bleed or wick up underneath the stencil where the stencil's raised in locations. There is our application of the Pellucid dye. Um, basically, it's terracotta solvent based. Um, and so we're going to give this probably 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure that some of the dye that's accumulated on top of the paper stencil is in fact dry. And then we're going to remove the stencil and see what we end up with. Deck Guard is a solvent based methamethacrylate concrete sealer. Uh, it has siling technology, which is excellent. As a result of that, we tend to get uh, sometimes almost double the life expectancy over a traditional um, solvent-based acrylic. And the reason for that is the siling technology prevents moisture from getting down into the porosity of the concrete. So uh, water tends to deteriorate a lot of the traditional solvent-based acrylic sealers. This product is UV stable. Um, it's excellent for a wide variety of different uh, concrete surfaces, ranging from stamped concrete, polymer modified concrete in this case, um, patios, pool decks, now, a word of caution if you're going to use this product over um, you know, an area that you're concerned about slip hazards, such as a pool deck, you would want to put a non-skid additive. Uh, generally, we use what's called a resin sand and um, refer to Derman's website for recommended dosage rates. But generally, it's somewhere around four to six ounces of resin sand that suspends into the sealer. A word of caution if you are going to put the non-skid additive in the, uh, in the sealer, one person needs to continually agitate or stir it uh, so you don't get it settling down on the concrete. And the whole goal is to suspend that resin sand in the material. Um, if you do it properly, you should not even be able to visually see the resin sand, but yet it'll feel the equivalent of like a 180 grit or a 200 grit sandpaper and provides a non-skid non uh, slip surface. So it's excellent for exterior. It's UV stable. 
Some installers do prefer to use it on interior applications. However, a word of caution, it does have solvent in it, so there is an odor. And you know, you would never want to use this product any around, uh, around any ignition source um, for safety reasons. Now we're getting ready to apply our deck guard methyl methacrylate sealer uh, that has silane in it for repelliency. Um, we're going to put this down at about 300 to 350 square feet per coat per gallon. Um, and we're going to spray, spray it down because of the dye. We don't want to bleed the dye, but you can roll this material. Just keep in mind whatever it is you're rolling over, you don't want it to bleed the dye. In this case, that's why we're spraying it. So you always want to try to seal in the coolest part of the day, in the AM, in the morning before the direct sunlight is on the uh, surface. When you seal in the hottest part of the day, unfortunately like we are today, um, there's, you get a chance or it's prone to outgassing um, from the trapped air in the concrete being displaced and comes back up through the sealer and that's a direct result of temperature. So you never want to seal a concrete surface if the temperatures are exceeding, the, the concrete temperatures are exceeding 85, 90 degrees. That's getting way, way too warm and you can expect bubbling. So 